everybody. So today, okay. Hi everybody. Today we're here to talk about uh, the mobile sales app to show you everything that um, is possible to do with it. My name is Gina Bawataha and I'm the CRM for the Quebec region. Our good friend, Mike, Michael White will be the one that's going to be doing the demo. So do not hesitate if you have any questions. Thank you. All right, thank you. A uh, little bit of house cleaning. I've got the uh, question and answer panel on my left here, along with the uh, chat box. So if there are some questions as we go through this, by all means, please throw them out there. Don't hesitate. There are no, no dumb questions. Um, you know, please feel free and everything's anonymous. So if you've got a question, just throw it out there and we'll get it answered for you as we go through this. But what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at the mobile sales capability for SAP Business One. Now, previously, this was only available on HANA. But if you uh, do upgrade to 10.0, if you're on a SQL deployment, 10.0 now provides a service layer needed to operate the mobile sales app. So um, without further ado, let's take a look at the mobile sales app. So I'm going to bring up, uh, let's go ahead and let's bring up the uh, business one here. Okay, so to get things started, there is an installation process to have the mobile app installed. Um, so that's the first thing. And that generally will happen at the time SAP Business One is installed or after the fact, maybe as a phase two or as a phase three, but the, um, the, the mobile application does come as part of the core Business One system. And so uh, Vision 33 can help you get that installed if you'd like to. Now, once it's installed, then the only other thing that you really need to do is for those users, typically the sales users that you want to be able to use the mobile app, you do need to go into their user setup and simply tick the mobile user box. And that will allow them to uh, access the, uh, the, the mobile sales app. And so what I'm gonna do now is let's go ahead and let's start up the, uh, the mobile phone here. So give me a second and we will do that. Let me connect to the mobile phone and we will do this live from mobile device. Okay, I am connecting right now. There we go. I'm connected. Let me bring my mobile app up here to the view. And um, now we've got, I've got my mobile app. We're going to log into SAP. We're going to connect to the B1 sales. So the one you want to connect to is this one here. This B1 sales, this is a mobile app you can download today from Google Play or from the uh, iPhone app store. It's free to download and you can even run it in a test environment. Now, when I bring this up, it wants to know what database are we going to connect to? So I can get a list of the different databases that I, I have access to from my mobile app. And then once I find the database that I want to connect to, and uh, give me a second here, let's find it. I believe it is going to be, let's see. Uh, ba -dum -bum -bum. Let's see, here we go. Let's go to this one right here, Vision 33. Okay, so we select the database and then you simply put in your, your login and your password. So we'll go ahead and put in my password here and then I can go ahead and log in. Now I'm gonna expand this because this is a little bit uh, difficult to see here. So we're now logging in to the mobile sales app. Now, the first thing it does, you'll see this uh, little star spinning around here. It goes out and it's updating a SQLite database that comes coupled with this mobile app. And that's important because you see the sync button up here. So your sales reps, if they're out in the field, then they will be able to go out and uh, uh, if they're not in internet connectivity or 3G, 4G, 5G, um, they'll still be able to have a subset of the business one data uh, on their mobile phone. So they can still manage customers, take quotes, orders, those kinds of things. So the first thing we see here is we see a list of our activities down here for the uh, for usually the next five, six days. So I can see that I don't have any activities going on here. I, although I do have some activities, none of those are due within the next few days. And then if I wanna see my activities, then I can go ahead and click 
And this will bring up a list of all of my activities, just like in business one, you know, your messages and alerts. And so I can see I've got some uh, maintenance I need to do and I need to call or shake her. Uh, you could see these were due uh, several days ago. So they're still showing up as activities, but they're not showing up, uh, you know, as due today per se. Now, if I drill down into an activity, then this will give me the details of the company I need to call. You'll notice right here from the phone number, I can simply click my phone button and call that customer, which is really nice. It really makes it easy to stay in contact with your customers. I can also link this activity to a quote, a sales order, something else like that. And then if I'm actually going out to my customer, I can check in. And when I check in, this will then bring up a map and um, we'll go ahead and allow that. Okay, so you guys, sorry, you guys, this is creating a separate page on my phone and you're not able to see it, unfortunately. But what that does is that brings up a Google map uh, and it opens up Google Maps and allows me to uh, see the, the route to get directly to my customer from my current location, okay? Now, the other thing about the activities then, you can also add attachments. And then uh, what you're seeing down here are user-defined fields. So all of the user-defined fields added for activities will also be available on the mobile app. So let's go ahead and let's get out of the activities. Uh, you'll also notice, let me jump back in here, that if I'm, let's say that maybe I called Earthshaker and now I need to add a call report. So here I can put in my remarks called, called Earthshaker. And um, then I'll select my, uh, my customer here. Here we go, who'd you call? Um, select my contact, everything else is good. If I wanna put a subject, maybe it was a call report and then any kind of contents, uh, let's say cost wants, to order. So I'm able to capture this kind of stuff directly from the customer, directly from the mobile phones. That activity was added and I've got a new activity here and I called her shaker and I can go ahead and I can close that activity or I can keep it open and use it as a reminder to call them back, whatever I want to do with the activities. So that's a little bit on the activities. Now, uh, you'll also notice opportunities here. So all of the opportunities that are in Business One that are my opportunities, I have visibility here on my mobile app. And I can also look at this in the view of a pipeline. So I can see how many leads do I have that are in a first meeting, second meeting. And then, you know, where do I want to spend my time? What am I currently negotiating right now? And so I've got several different opportunities I'm negotiating. And so I can come in here and I can edit the opportunities, make my changes, um, save the opportunities, or I can add a stage, set the status. Uh, if we won this opportunity, I can come in here and say, guess what, we won. And um, that status updated completely. And now that opportunity shows that we've, uh, we've won that opportunity. So, um, you can also look at opportunities you've lost, you've won, anything that's open. And then if you want to add a new opportunity from here, you can by clicking on the plus on the top right. And that gives you the ability to add a brand new opportunity uh, from the mobile app. Now, you'll also see the same thing is true. And I won't go through all of this for all of these, but you can see the same thing is true with quotes. Right now, the, the unique thing about quotes, because opportunities there, you really can't do anything with an opportunity. Opportunities are critical to really good sales business intelligence, but you can't buy something with an opportunity. You can't sell something with an opportunity. There's no GL related to an opportunity. But once we get into quotes and orders and shipments, well, then there can actually be approval processes because these are where, you know, these really, um, you know, cause the supply chain to have some activity. So, you'll see up on the top right here that there is an approval status. So these show all my open quotes or just my open quotes, or I could look at all of my quotes and then I can see color coded here, which ones are open, which ones are closed. Um, and then if I wanna look and see, do I have any quotes in an approval status, a recent approval status, I do. And I can see here, I've got my Earthshaker quote, which was uh, recently approved, well, actually uh, last year approved. And then my Costco quote uh, was, is pending. And that one's in an approval process. Now I can even drill down and see some details about this um, because there are notes, there are other things about um, this quote uh, that the approver might wanna see. 
So here they can see, you know, all the details about the quote, the contents of the quote, the logistics, the accounting pieces. Uh, they can edit the quote, but you actually have the ability to, um, you know, view that approval status from here and um, have a, a real good idea of whether your quote's been approved or not. Can you move forward? Can you move that quote into a, a, an order? Okay, so now if we take a look again, same thing with sales orders, you see color coding here for your open orders. If I go to all orders here, then I can see which ones are open, which ones are closed. You also have the ability to change the sort here. So when I'm looking at my data, I can sort by business partner, document number, delivery date uh, in ascending or sending format. So this gives you also some really good sort options. And then of course you can search for a quote. So if I wanna search for a quote, let's say everything that has earth in it, then it just my earth shaker quotes come up. So again, real easy to slice and dice and find and use that data, whether you're on a mobile phone or a tablet. Okay, sales orders we talked about. Then we get into business partners. And in the mobile app, you can differentiate between your customers and your leads. So here I can see my customers. I can also rate my customers with the stars. Um, and this is really just for a visual. So I can see, you know, is this one of my favorite customers or is this somebody that... Uh, you know, they just, they're tough to deal with sometimes. Um, but those are my customers. And then I can switch over and uh, look at my leads. And then from here, I'm also able to go out and add uh, a brand new customer or a brand new lead. Now, you also have the document numbering series in Business One. So what I like to do is on the mobile app, I like to use automated numbering, auto numbers. Uh, and then I can simply uh, put the name of my new lead in here. Might, maybe this might be mission, uh, mission, uh, we'll call this mission, mission mechanics. There we go. Um, I can make them a customer, a lead, uh, whatever I want to flag them as, select the industry that they're in. Um, and then go ahead and, and is there tar part of a, a group? You know, are they a contractor, distributor, entertainment, government? These are your business partner groups. And here I'm going to put in here that they are a, a distributor. And then any other details we could put in here. Now, when I click the more button, now this then takes me into some user defined fields. And so these are some user defined fields I've created. Um, and also some extended solutions have created like iPayment, you'd be able to take credit card orders, those kinds of things, uh, a risk rating, um, is there a, a route assignment for this customer, those kinds of things. So, you know, maybe these guys are part of my red route or uh, whatever it might be. So anyways, we can go ahead and we can create a new business partner or a new lead, literally in just a matter of seconds. Now there's a new feature coming uh, with the mobile app that will allow me to scan a business card and it will then create a business partner from that business card. So when you look at the roadmap for this, SAP has a lot of exciting things uh, uh, scheduled for the mobile apps. So that's a little bit on the customer management. Then you also have visibility of your items, all of the inventory. And what I like about this is you know it not only does it show you you know how many you have in stock so you can see the item you can see how much you have in stock but if i drill down into the item then um you know a lot of mobile apps they will limit you to a subset of fields you know you're you're really pretty much locked into seeing these dozen fields and that's it the thing about the sap business one mobile sales app here is that it gives you um, not only the, the key fields up top here, the most common fields, you know, like the sales unit of measure, um, you know, items per sales unit, any kind of attachments, but then access to all of those user defined fields. Now I've added a lot of fields over the time in my demonstrations, people that deal with, let's say automotive, um, you know, electrical and those kinds of things. So any of those unique fields or parameters or attributes about that item, you'll have visibility of all of that. So it's all completely visible as well as any attachments. So if there are product images or if you want to uh, you know, take a picture of the product and use that as an attachment there, you, you're able to do that too. So this gives you access to all the items. And then we have the deliveries. Now you can see here, I have some overdue deliveries. 
Um, I've got some that should have gone out last year. This one should have gone out last month. It's an open delivery. And so now, just like on the quotes and orders, I can drill down into that delivery. I can look at the header information, the contents. Um, you know, I can see what the open quantity is of each one of these. And then also, um, if I want to go down further, I can even look at the item and see any details about this item. Um, and again, any user defined fields or attributes. So it's all right there. Uh, I can look at the logistics and then any kind of the accounting information. Now, if this was tied to a project, I would see that here as well. So this will work well with projects. What I like is if the customer is asking for a copy of that delivery, I can click the PDF button on the top right. And then this will generate a PDF of that uh, delivery for that customer and or that order or that quote. And let me go back here. So if we go back, and this is really a, a neat feature. If I go into orders, I'll bring up an order. Here we go, let's let this order load. And then you, what you should see is if we come over here, um, I can cancel the order, I can duplicate it, or I can print the order to a PDF. So sometimes you'll have the PDF as an option to the three dots on the top right. Other times it'll be a, um, it'll be a, um, a drop, you know, an actual image of a PDF on the top right if there's only one option. Now, um, I do believe you need to have a, an Adobe add-on um, loaded into your mobile app. And when you do that, there's a free Adobe add-on for the mobile app. I haven't loaded it, obviously, or I, we'd be seeing the, the PDF right here. When that PDF does come up, then again, you can share that. You can uh, send it out. You can, sh you know, shoot it to a, uh, you know, any one of your contacts uh, through messages, mail, uh, however you want to uh, uh, send that document out, you're able to do that. So uh, it's really kind of a neat, uh, a neat feature. So as an example, if I want to do a PDF here, we'll do that again. Now, we're, although we're not seeing it, if I come over here and let's say I want to shoot this out on a message, there we can see here's the PDF. And, um, and I won't waste your time and send it to myself and look at it, but I think you guys get the idea. This is the standard crystal report output from business one. Okay, so we've looked at a lot of these things here. Um, the last thing to look at would be the invoices. And again, you're going to see overdue invoices where you can then drill down into that invoice, look at those details. Here we see the PDF icon up on the top right. So if I've got an overdue invoice, I want to print that invoice, and then I want to shoot this out over to my, uh, let's say my, uh, you know, message it out to whoever needs to, to pay that invoice, I'm able to do that. So all of this is available from the uh, the mobile app. Now, the uh, what we'll do now is let's bring in the main menu here. Now, you also have the ability to run Crystal Reports. So one of the cool things is that you'll be able to uh, create your own Crystal Reports inside a business one, and you can publish those into the mobile app. So you'll be able to run Crystal. As you guys know, Crystal uh, Reports Designer comes with SAP. So you'll be able to take any standard crystal reports or any custom crystal reports and port those over to the mobile app. Now, the mobile app also comes with its own KPIs. And these KPIs are also accessible and tailorable from inside of SAP Business One. So here I can see I've got my KPIs, I've got a couple of graphs, but this shows me the potential amount of my open opportunities not everybody else's. And that's what's really neat about these KPIs or these dashboards is they inherit the data based on the person who's using the app. So if my cohort Susan logs in using the mobile app, her KPIs will look completely different than mine. Um, so these are really unique to the user and that's pretty powerful. So this shows me my potential amount of uh, open opportunities, my sales amount, um, top five customers, top five best selling items. Um, and I mentioned that you can tailor this from within business one. So if I go into business one here, now let's bring it back up. You can see when I logged into my mobile app because I logged in as the same login here, it logged me out of my SAP. But what I wanted to show you is here we can go into the pervasive analytics. If you're on SQL, those analytics 
uh, of course, you wouldn't be using pervasive analytics, you'd be using crystal reports. So those analytics we saw, or those, uh, those analytics we see here, uh, let me uh, do that, flash that screen up there, those analytics, those are available here under advanced dashboards. And so what we'll see is we'll see an advanced dashboard uh, for uh, current sales, advanced dashboard for customer, uh, for the uh, uh, service app. So I believe this is the one we want for the sales app and that it is. And so here you can see I'm getting the exact same numbers in SAP as I'm getting on my mobile app. And this is where those dashboards come from. And so I'm able to come in here and if I wanna make some changes, I can. If I wanna go out to the widget gallery, and if I wanna add in additional widgets to be displayed on the mobile app, I can easily do that too by simply selecting the widgets I wanna bring back into uh, the mobile app. So um, and, and we can talk about the, uh, the, the widgets, the dashboards in uh, SAP Business One HANA, but that would be a completely other session. Uh, we could spend uh, you know 30 minutes to an hour doing that as well. But um, this gives you a pretty good overview for the mobile app. Um, we'll go ahead and leave the KPIs. The last thing to mention then is there are some, some basic settings. Uh, do you wanna clear the cache? Do you wanna use a face ID, which is really kind of nice. You can use your face ID in lieu of a user ID and password. You might need to check with your company first, but you also have some different layout settings. So when I'm looking at a quote, you can see here, I have the ability to drag and drop and move these fields around in any order that I want. So not only was the mobile sales app designed to be quick and simple and easy to use for your sales reps, this is kind of like the icing on the cake because there's some salespeople that might only need two or three fields to add a lead, two or three fields to, to get a quote started. Um, and you can put those key fields right up top so it becomes a really simple solution for them to use. So there's a lot of tailorability also built in to the, uh, to the mobile app. Um, and then of course your UDF settings, right? So you have complete control. So when I go into a quote, I can pick and choose what user defined fields do I want to be able to uh, be viewed on the mobile and which ones do I not? So that is a demonstration of the uh, mobile sales app. Um, hopefully this has been uh, advantageous for you folks. Um, and if you see some value in it, we would love to help you set this up and take advantage of it and realize a very quick ROI uh, from this app. So I'll turn it back over to our marketing team. And I wanna thank everybody for your patience and for watching. All right, well, thanks, Mike, for yeah. a great session today. Dianaba, did you want to close this out with a few words? Yeah, so like Mike explained, this is a pretty cool app. I believe there's a lot of stuff that uh, it can help you with. So if you're interested in getting more information on this, do not hesitate to contact us. And that's about it. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers. See you, folks.